Hi, my name is Vincent and today I want to take a look at how to use the intermediate value theorem. So we have the problem show that f of x, and we have some polynomial function here, has a root on the interval from 0 to 3. So to use the intermediate value theorem, which is right here, we need to follow these four steps. Now the theorem itself could be a little bit confusing to understand. So the analogy that I will always use with my students is I tell the story in 1999, I was five feet tall. And today, it's 2017, I am six feet tall. And then the question is, is it possible that I skipped five foot four? And every time I ask this question, they almost immediately yell out, no, that's impossible. And they're correct because I'm growing continuously that on my way from five feet to six feet, I did have to pass through five foot four. And that is basically the intermediate value theorem conceptually, that we can't skip those in-between values from one function value to another. But in order to use this to write a clear explanation, we need to follow these steps here. So looking at this function, how do we know that f of x is a continuous function? Well, we could say it's a continuous function because it's a polynomial. So the next thing we want to show after this is we want to find what the function value at a is and the function value would be. So we're going to plug in these two endpoints here into the function. So f of 0, well, if we plug in 0, 0 to the third minus 0 squared minus 3 is just equal to negative 3. When we plug in 3, we're going to have 3 to the third power, which is 27, minus 3 squared, minus 3. So 27 minus 12 is equal to 15. So once we have these values, we want to show that y not is between f of a and f of b. Well, think about what are we actually trying to show here? We're trying to show that this function has a root, which in plain English, that's us trying to show that our y not value is equal to zero at some point. Well, if you notice here, on our way from negative three to 15, we do have to pass through zero. So this is in fact going to be true. We will have a root on the interval from zero to three. So to write this out, we can now use the intermediate value theorem because zero is between negative three and 15. So to conclude here, we have since zero is between negative three and 15, or we could say zero is between f of zero and f of three. By the intermediate value theorem, and we'll abbreviate it with IBT, there exists a value C. And remember, the condition is that C, because of the intermediate value theorem, we can guarantee that C is going to be between 0 and 3. So C is between 0 and 3, such that the function value at C has to equal 0. Now, just for conceptual insight, think about what we just found here. We wrote it out verbally, but now let's look at it visually here. We look at the value negative 3 and 15. Well, what we started off with was f of 0 is equal to negative 3. And f of 3 is up here at 15. So think about it. On our way from f of 0 to f of 3, we have to pass through the x-axis because this is a continuous function. I have to draw it without lifting my marker off the board. So that's a visual reason of why we are going to have a root between 0 and 3, but if we want to write it out formally, we'll do it this way. Okay, if you found this video helpful, please click like and subscribe below, and thank you for watching.